Things are looking up. Everything is looking up. When was the last time you looked up? Maybe you should do that. Maybe something is coming. Welcome to Night Vale. folks, and may I just say that it feels wonderful to be back in this booth, talking to all of you again. It's been a rough week for everybody, I think, so it's nice to come in here and be able to relax, if only for a little while. Top story today, the Night Vale subway is up and running again. We can only assume that Mayor Marcus Vanston was responsible for the reopening, since he did promise to do just that during his campaign for mayor. The stations are beautiful, folks. The trains are fast and comfortable, and the entrances are convenient. I would highly recommend the subway to anyone who wants to travel Night Vale in comfort and convenience. And don't worry about the possible reduction in your carbon emission score. The trains are run on hastily mined, unrefined coal from Siberia, possibly obtained through slave labor. Really, taking the trains is a better alternative to driving if you want to get your carbon score up. Not only that, but the subway is owned and operated by Strexcorp who recently purchased it from the mysterious figures wearing deer masks for, may I say, a great price. Negotiations were brief and brutal, but the final settlement was agreeable to all surviving parties. Remember, folks, we went to a lot of trouble to get this subway for you. Not using it would be an insult to Strexcorp, and I know you don't want to insult Strexcorp. You know what happens to people who insult Strexcorp. Or rather, you don't know. And you don't want to know. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to know. We have a lot of exciting events coming up this week. So let's take a look at the community calendar. Monday is Ladies' Night at the Pinkberry. Anyone who comes in with proof of their gender gets half off their Pinkberry order. Be sure that your proof of gender document has been signed and notarized by all of the appropriate authorities before bringing it to Ladies' Night as police will be on hand to arrest anyone attempting to use forged or incorrect documentation to scam the Pinkberry out of good money, and they really don't want to end up arresting people all day. Tuesday is Science Day. Scientific facilities from all over the country will be giving presentations on their scientific achievements as well as recruiting for test subjects and lab assistants. The Night Vale Community Center will be hosting the event, which will take place from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Tuesday. We're very excited to be hosting a leader in science this year, Aperture Laboratories, who will be giving demonstrations throughout the day on their various ingenious devices and technologies. Wednesday is the public execution of traitor and instigator Cecil Gershwin Palmer. The ex-radio host will be dragged out into the street, viciously beaten, roughly bound by his wrists and ankles to a large post atop a pile of kindling, then doused in gasoline and burned at the stake. We will, of course, provide him with a state-of-the-art fireproof microphone so that he can scream his last agonized words to his precious listeners before his withering body is consumed by the greedy flames. Tickets are $5 each for adults, $2 each for children and senior citizens, 
purchasable at any location where things are sold. Be sure to bring your baseball bats, lead pipes, and barbed wire wrapped sticks so you too can join in the fun. This promises to be the event of a lifetime, folks, so don't miss it. Thursday is Pet Adoption Day at the Night Vale SPCA. Any person or being wishing to adopt a pet and sign the waiver will be able to adopt any pet of our choosing. We'll pick the one we think is best for you. Don't worry, we're pretty good at that sort of thing. Adoption is $3 if you bring your own anti-venom, $10 if you do not. Friday is the long-awaited basketball showdown between Night Vale and Desert Bluffs. The competition will be held at the Joint Basketball Stadium, placed exactly equidistant between the two towns, which is, incidentally, completely inaccessible except by helicopter. The game is the culmination of a season of friendly competition between us and our sister city. Don't miss out! Saturday, take the day off. Just make sure you've worked enough hours throughout the rest of the week. Wouldn't want to fall behind. Sunday will most likely happen. Experts say the odds of Sunday not happening are negligible. Please continue to behave as though Sunday will happen, so that you can panic appropriately in the event that it does not. This has been the Community Calendar. I'm sorry, folks. There's some kind of disturbance going on in the station, and I have to go investigate it. I'll be back just as soon as I can. Don't go anywhere. Hello? Cecil, are you there? Please answer, Cecil. Christ's sake, please answer. You're scaring me. Please just answer the phone. Just let me know you're all right. Just let me know you're alive. Hello? Hello? Можешь меня слышать? What? Hello? Who is this? Carlos! Это я. Это Shell. Carlos, ты хорошо? Cecil, я тебя искаем. Где ты? Wait. Did you say Cecil? I I'm sorry, I, I don't speak any Russian. Who are you? Is Cecil all right? Where is he? Carlos, это я. Твоя подруга из лаборатория. Это... Aperture. Aperture, да? Wait, wait, you're not... The woman from the sand wastes. You can talk? Да, Carlos, могу говорить. Молодец. Мы искаем тебя, Cecil и я. Будем тебя находить. I don't know what you said, but will you tell Cecil I'm all right? No, more importantly, is he all right? Да, он хорошо. Он тут сейчас. Хочешь говорить с ним? I don't speak Russian, but but да means yes, right? So yes, yes, he's okay. Да. Good. That's good. I think, assuming да means what I think it does. Can you tell him I'm all right? Can you at least try? Он тут. Сейчас. Можешь он рассказывать собой? Uh, what? Ой. Да. Могу пытаться. Да. Thank you. Thank you so much. Не за что. I'm, I'm going to hang up now. I'll call back later. There's something in the distance. I'm going to investigate it. Ну, хорошо. Пока, Карлос. До свидания. Итак, слушатели, даю вам... Погода. Again, 
Listeners, it is so good to be back. How I've missed this studio, this microphone. With the help of the woman from the Sand Wastes, we've managed to take back the station from Strexcorp. And oh, I can't tell you how happy I am to be back in my booth. The woman, I think her name is Shell, broke me out of the Strexcorp holding cell using her strange, dimension tearing device. I don't know what they had planned for me, and I'm glad. I wouldn't want to know. Just thinking about what unknown, horrible fate I have escaped makes me shudder, and cling all the closer to this microphone, to you, out there, listening. But all is not sunshine and happiness. Quite the opposite, all is darkness and despair. For Strexcorp, who have purchased not only our station, our mayor, our police, 
and the vast majority of all of the businesses in Night Vale are not what they seem. Since we have cast Strexcorp out from this studio and barricaded ourselves inside, I now have plenty of time to tell you everything that you must know about Strexcorp Sinernists Incorporated. I mean, does anyone actually know what Sinernists means? Is that even a real word? What is a Sinernist? Is it like they study Sinern? Like a scientist studies science? Or is it just completely unrelated to anything? I bet it's a made-up word. I bet there's no such thing as a Sinernist anywhere on Earth. Cecil? Carlos? Carlos, is that you? Cecil! Yes, yes, it's me! Oh, thank God. Are you alright? Yes! I'm alright! I'm great! How are you? <laughs> oh, God, Cecil. So glad you finally answered the phone. I've been calling for days. I was so worried that something had happened to you. Phone? Carlos, we're not on the phone. We're on the air. I think... I think you must be somehow calling the radio. What? No, that that's impossible. See, radio works by sending out radio waves, a, a particular frequency of light. But cell phones, cell phones transmit microwaves, a different frequency, very different, orders of magnitude different. So a radio couldn't, uh, well, a cell phone wouldn't be able to, well, see, because the frequency is, ah, science. Um, okay. But still, it's so good to hear from you. Where are you? I've been heading for that blinking light. The lighthouse. Yes, I I've been heading for that. But I found a door out here in the desert. Just standing here in a frame, not attached to anything. And Cecil, I just have this feeling, call it a scientist's intuition, that Night Vale is on the other side. I tried opening it from both sides, since I'm not sure which way it's supposed to open. But I think it was locked from the other side. Cecil, if you can find that door and unlock it, I think I'll be able to come back home. I will. Carlos, I will. I will find that door, and I will unlock it. Okay? Don't worry. I'll come and get you. I'll come and find you and bring you home safe. Carlos? Carlos, are you still there? Listeners, I think he's gone. I will have to go find that door, which I think I remember something about it from a long time ago, existing in Night Vale. I have to go let Carlos back in. But listeners, I must tell you this before I leave the security of the station. It is imperative that you know this before I go, just in case I don't make it back. You remember Nulgorsk, the city that may or may not have been destroyed in 1983, which sent us a submarine a few weeks ago containing a donor body for Megan? I have spoken with Tamika Flynn. I have found the true histories, and Strex- <laughs> Listeners? I think I've just been shot. <coughs> Good night, Cecil. Goodbye. Welcome to Night Vale is a production of Commonplace Books. It is written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner, and produced by Joseph Fink. The voice of Night Vale is Cecil Baldwin. Original music by Disparition and Aperture Science Psychoacoustic Laboratories. Most of it can be found online at disparition.info or disparition.bandcamp.com. Today's weather was Exile Vilify by The National. More information can be found at americanmary.com. Portal and all related characters, devices, and scenarios belong to Valve. Today's proverb. When in danger or in doubt... Who am I kidding? You're always in danger and in doubt. <laughs>